Okay, one other factor that we need to uh, address here in, in regard to application security, a very important factor in uh, application security and development um, in the use uh, of our IT systems overall. Um, only marginally related to malware, uh, well, it has a rather interesting relation to malware, um, but uh, this is the, uh, the aspect uh, frequently referred to as monoculture, um, having uh, a single source supply. Now, we, we've seen this um, recently in regard to the, um, the pandemic. Uh, we have <laughs> constantly, and we're still seeing, uh, supply chain issues and, and of course you know uh, a single source supply um, uh, we talk about it in terms of resilience we'll talk about it in, in um, business continuity planning and uh, uh, some operations um, re you know having a single point of failure in in a sense um, and in a sense we can do that ourselves when we rely too heavily on uh, a single platform. Um, and now, we've already talked about that uh, to a certain extent um, in terms of open source, well, uh, open systems rather than and closed systems. Um, but uh, it, it goes uh, more broadly than that uh, in some cases to um, look at, uh, even if we are dealing with uh, supposedly uh, open systems, um, systems that are using standard protocols that will interchange with, with other systems, but um, we are using one particular operating system, one particular productivity suite, one particular uh, uh, suite of tools for the office. Um, we rely, uh, you know, even one particular supplier for our computers. Um, the, the more um, that happens, the more danger we have of getting into an issue where we uh, encounter a vulnerability <laughs> Uh, hopefully before it becomes exploited, but, you know, in many cases, only after it's been exploited. And then we find out that, you know, all of our systems are down because all have the same vulnerability. All have been attacked. Uh, so this is a, this is a danger. Um, it is, uh, it is a danger that we don't see as a security danger very often. We see it as a business advantage, a, a cost saving. Um, uh, if we go single source contract, if we uh, buy all of whatever from one particular vendor, um, we only have to have one uh, set of uh, uh, assistance, oh, only one uh, set of uh, problems, uh, only one um, set of uh, issues with regard to technical support. Uh, you know, it's it's it simplifies things, and it uh, under certain contracts, um, if we go single source, uh, it's even a cost savings because uh, the vendor is willing to give us. A, uh, a discount if we agree to buy everything from them. So, um, yeah, it is an issue of uh, security that gets hidden because, um, oh, well, that's, that's, you know, it's not really an issue of security. It's uh, just, you know, business, common sense, uh, cost savings, etc., etc., etc. But, uh, well, we've seen all kinds of examples of uh, 
uh, well, Windows more particularly, uh, mostly simply because uh, Windows, Microsoft Windows, is, is the uh, most uh, widely used. And, and so it's the one where the vulnerabilities get found, and it's most widely exploited. Um, and, and we'll have issues where people have uh, found uh, an exploit, use it, and it you know, wipes out uh, huge numbers of systems around the world sometimes. Um, so we've got to you know, ensure that we protect ourselves from that kind of thing. But it, it goes uh, beyond the, uh, the operating system. I mean, uh, again, Microsoft Office. Um, everybody uses Microsoft Office. Well, Microsoft Office has vulnerabilities in the same way, and you can write viruses with, uh, say, Visual Basic for Applications. Uh, and because it's tied to uh, uh, Windows software, because it's tied to Outlook as a mailer and that sort of thing, um, very often... Uh, worms, uh, you know, or, or at least, you know, reproductive software with minimal uh, user interaction um, can be created. And um, it's easier, as we've seen in a number of instances, to have that happen. Um, Active Directory. Um, it, it, it may sound like I'm, I'm thumping on Microsoft here. It really... I am only thumbing on Microsoft because it is so successful, because it is so prevalent, and we have more examples. But we've seen uh, situations where Active Directory becomes um, the uh, controller for everything with regard to the system. And, and so, uh, again, you know, it can be taken over. Um, whatever functionality there is in, uh, in common here that... Uh, can be used, can be uh, said to be uh, a uh, you know common to everything that we're doing. Um, it can be taken over, and uh, you know Microsoft Office uh, macros, ActiveX, um, Active Content. Uh, you know all of these aspects um, will. It can and, and very often will uh, become security issues. So, you know, monoculture, nice for the bottom line until you get bit.